March 10th, 2023, continuing my analysis of old school baseball versus new school baseball. Accomplishments, achievements, stats, who is better? Two time periods, 1870 through 1949, old school. 1950 through 2022, new school. This video, on base, who is better? Old versus new. Look at the stats and compare them and see who wins. 1870s. I'm looking at a decade from 1870 to 1879. I'm averaging out the top on base for the year. Which individual had the highest on base for the year? Take the 10 year period, average it out. On base, 1870s, 384 is the average. Who had the high? Cap Hansen, 455. 1880s, 422 on base percentage, average. Who had the highest? King Kelly, 483. 1890s, 477 average. Who had the highest? Billy Hamilton, 521 on base. 1900s, 435 average. And the high? Ed Delante, Big Ed, 453. 1910s. The average 461. And the high for the decade on base. A guy named Ty Cobb, 486. 1920s. This is the highest. 503 average on base. 50% of the time ball players were getting on base. Who had the highest average in the 1920s? Babe Ruth, 544. 1930s, on base average, 477, came down from 503. Still pretty high. Who had the high for the decade? Babe Ruth, 495. And the 1940s, 482 on base. Who had the highest? You should know this one. In 1940s, Ted Williams, 553 on base. That means half the time through the whole season he was on base. So the aggregate on base total for the 75 year period, 455. 75 year period, 45% of the time, ball players were on base. Let's look at the new schoolers. Start with the 1950s. The average 462 for the decade. Who had the high? Ted Williams, 526. 1960s, the average 430. And the high? Mickey Mantle, 486. 1970s, 433 average. Who had the high? Joe Morgan, 466. 1980s on base, average, 441. Who had the high? Wade Boggs, 476. 1990s, 456 average. And the high? Edgar Martinez, 489 on base. 2000s, 429 average. Who had the high? Chipper Jones, 470. And then the 2010s, the average goes down to 384. And who had the high? David Ortiz, 415 on base. So the cumulative aggregate on base percentage for the 75 year period for new school baseball players from 1950 to 2022. 
or 15? What was old school? No. The new school had 433 on base. Pardon me. But what was old school? 455. Old school wins on base. So the series of videos I've been doing, I did batting average, old school one. Most hits in a season, old school one. Run scored, old school. Three nothing, old school. Runs batted in, new school won that. Runs batted in. Home runs, new school won. Triples, old school. Doubles, old school. Singles, old school. Slugging, new school. So the score is six to three, old school, as far as these categories. And now we just did on base. And on base was won by old school. That means the score after 10 categories, seven to three old school baseball players are winning in categories. So I've got three more categories left. Total bases, a base on balls and stolen bases. We'll get into it. But to recap this one on the on base, old school did better getting on base. I think in the new school era, they're striking out more people. You'll see I'll do a video on strikeouts. Recap, on base, 1870s, 384, 1880s, 422, 1890s, 477, 1900s, 435, 1910s, 461, 1920s, the highest. 503. 1930s, 477, and the 1940s, 482. For the new school, 1950s, 462. 1960s, 430. 1970s, 433. 1980s, 441. 1990s, 456. 2000s, 429, and 2010s, 384. So the high for the old school would be the 1920s, 503. And the high for the new school would have been the 1950s, 462. So far, old school baseball players are dominating. They've won seven out of the 10 categories I've covered. Next. We're going to get into total bases. Yeah. Who wins? Old or new? Thanks for tuning in here. I'm out.